installing Cat6 Keystone Jacks just got easier. This is an RJ45 45 degree Keystone Jack from a company called Sat Maximum. These Cat6 jacks have a 45 degree angled termination port that simplifies your connections to your chosen ethernet cable, whether Cat6 or Cat5e. It also has an impact resistant housing and gold plated contacts, which offers heavy duty and durable construction, which means these Keystone jacks will last a very, very long time. So if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, then this Keystone jack should be reliable, durable, and best of all, easy to install. And these Keystone jacks include eight different colors. Blue, white, yellow, red, black, orange, green, and gray. Before I show you the super easy installation, let's talk about the main features of this Keystone jack. Like I said before, this has a 45 degree angle termination port for a very easy install. And this Cat6 jack supports T568A and T568B configurations and uses the industry standard 110 interface. And I'm gonna show you both wiring configurations, the T568A and the T568B. However, the T568B is pretty much the standard. And this jack also supports 23 to 26 AWG stranded and solid wire. And it's compatible with a 110 punch down tool. And SAT Maximum, also provide this punch down tool and wire stripper for the installation. And this Keystone jack fits patch panels, wall plates, or surface mount boxes with standard Keystone blank openings. And it also includes a snap-in clip for a secure connection. So now let me show you how easy this is to install. We're gonna start with the T568A and then we'll install the T568B. All right, the first thing we have to do is strip back the wires about an inch and a half. And we're gonna use this tool that Sat Maximum provided us. And this wire stripper is modular, so we'll swap out the coax module for the ethernet module. And the Cat6 wire we're gonna use today is Cat6 UTP solid 23 AWG at 550 megahertz. So place the Cat6 wire into the cable stripper and then give it a few spins. And then remove the plastic sheath. And next, unravel all the wires and then untwist all four pairs and get the wire straight as possible. So the pricing for these Keystone Jacks will vary depending on the quantity that you buy. If you buy one to four Keystone Jacks, they're $2.95 each. However, if you buy 20 of these Keystone Jacks, they're 90 cents a piece. Wow. Next, cut off the plastic inner core. We're not gonna need it. Now we're gonna pick a color and I'll think I'll go with red. So we're gonna use the wiring configuration for the T568A. And you can see it labeled at the top. So now separate the wires into the correct color configurations. So we'll have white green, green, white blue, blue, white brown, brown, and white orange, orange. Next, seat the wires into the 45 degree angle ports. These 45 degree angle keystone jacks are by far the best I've ever used. And the main reasons are that one, it's easier to insert and seat the wires into the connector ports. And second, because of the 45 degree angle, there are no harsh 90 degree turns that can be rough on the wires, which could cause connection issues. This makes these keystone jacks more reliable and very easy to install, even for do-it-yourselfers. Now pull the wires down as far as possible about halfway down the connector port should be good. And then we're gonna use the punch down tool to finish the job. And make sure the cut blade is facing the outside. This blade should help cut the excess wire. And sometimes you have to do this twice for it to cut the wire. So guys and gals, We'll have all the product links as well as the pricing listed below and we'll even include a coupon code to save you more money. And also, make sure to check out our Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. Thanks. And if you're looking for a good punch down tool, this punch down tool from Sat Maximum is very good and we'll have the product link listed below. All right, now you want to check your connections to make sure all the wires are seated all the way down. And it looks like they're all good. So now we're gonna put the wire cover on top. And then connect the keystone jack to the wall plate. And it just snaps in like this, easy. 
So now you know how to install the T568A Keystone Jack. So now I'm gonna show you how to install the T568B configuration. And like I said before, this is the most popular configuration. It's pretty much the industry standard. And next, unravel all the wires. Next, cut off the plastic inner core. We're not gonna need it. And then untwist all four pairs and get the wire straight as possible. And now we're gonna pick a color. Okay, now separate the wires into the T568B configuration. We have white orange, orange, white blue, blue, white brown, brown, and white green, green. Next, seat the wires into the 45 degree angled ports. Now pull the wires down as far as possible, and then we're gonna use the punch down tool to finish the job. And make sure the cut blade is facing the outside. This blade should help cut the excess wire. And sometimes you have to do this twice for it to cut the wire. And guys and gals, if you get a chance, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. Thanks. All right, now you wanna check your connections to make sure all the wires are seated all the way down and it looks like they're all good. So now we're gonna put the wire cover on top. And then connect the keystone jack to the wall plate. And it just snaps in like this, easy. All right, that's how you install the T568B configuration. And these 45 degree angle keystone jacks make it super easy. And I'll never go back to those old 90 degree jacks ever again. So guys and gals, this 45 degree angle keystone jack is amazing. It's durable, reliable, and super easy to install. And of course, all product links will be in the description below. And guys and gals, make sure to check out this video right here on how to build a home network. Or check out this video right here on how to wire drop Cat6 cables. And with that, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.